Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are just going to be doing a little bit of gameplay. There's actually not a lot of news that's going on. I know we've been doing a lot more news videos and gameplay videos, and you guys have been requesting me to actually do some uh, actual gameplay videos. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit. Uh, I'm in here right now. I actually just finished up doing the LR Freezer grind. Uh, now, I've only been doing a little bit every single week. Uh, I, I just got <laughs> the first amount of him, or of medals, in order to Dokken Awaken him to LR. So we're going to do that on camera right now. Here we go. This is the first time I got my LR Frieza all the way up to LR. I'm a little bit happy about that. I've been wanting to have him. I do have Kariza from the Fusions banner. So I was a little bit... Uh, I, I am happy about that because that, Kariza is his best linking buddy, if you aren't aware. So uh, let's go over here. We have LR Frieza now, and there's that. So we're going to go here... We're going to set this up for double the training, and I saved all of these uh, candy canes for specifically LRs. I mean, I'm not going to use all of them on him. I'm going to use two, and then I'm going to use two Paiku on um, maybe three. Wow, <laughs> there's really, I can't, this is freaking ridiculous to try and get him all the way up to super attack, or so, sorry, level 150. Uh, I don't want to use up all the special ones just in case I get another LR or something like that. You know, you never know when you're going to get more LRs when you need th those uh, items for training. Uh, anyway, we're going to get him all the way up to level 148. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see here, he's only Super Attack 10 of 20. Um, I, you know, I, I want to get up Super Attack um, 20, really do. Uh, I do have all four dupes on lock of him, on him, by the way. Uh, so you are aware. So anyone who's wondering about that, that is the case. Um... Let's go over here. I get a lot of these uh, shells from Master Roshi's event, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. And what else do I have that's a lot? Oh, I have a lot of these guys, so we can probably get it all the way to, there we go. Level 150. Alright, cool. So, 1.5. Now, I do have the other Frieza. He's Super Attack 10, right? And that's when I was doing my grind. I kept all the first form Freezes. This is before the LR Frieza event came out, so that's just so, like, that's how you know how long I've been prepping for LR Frieza. Uh, one thing I was a little bit upset about, I ended up reverse dokening him, and that was a big mistake because I wasn't supposed to do this one. This wasn't the variant I was supposed to reverse doken. I was supposed to reverse doken the other one, uh, and I already did it, so I ended up reverse dokening both of them. So I was a little bit upset about that. Anyway, so he's here. I don't have any more um, metals to really go i have you know i only have 10 i need another 777 i was thinking about feeding in grand elder kai's and him when i get them if i get them but <clears throat> i you know what i don't think it, it i don't want to use it on him because he's a free lr uh if we ever get the event like the lr goku event where you get all the orbs back and the elder kai's back we're getting up to super attack 20 then i will but until that time i'm just going to go ahead and continue to grind out uh, on this event specifically, the LR Freeze event. So, uh, this, you know what, I'm just going to make this a chill video. So, if you all just want to hang out for a couple, like maybe like a half hour, 45 minutes while I do this recording, uh, feel free to do so. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, one grind on the LR Freeze event, and then I'm going to go ahead and maybe try out a Super Battle Road with the team on it after that. So, this is going to be like a chill video if you all just want to chill and play, have me in the background or something like that. I, I do that a lot. So, uh, if you go, if you want to go down that route, I'm doing level three over here, by the way. Um, 50 stamina. I already got all the cards I need for him. And what I typically do is I'll look for... I'll show you my team in a second. Um, I look for an, an LR Goku friend if I can find him. Just because uh, if you get a 100% LR Goku friend, uh, you're going to have two really hard hitters and the freeze, and this event will go by really, really fast. Plus, they tank really well. Um, I could take the Super Saiyan 3 Goku cause, or that Angel Goku uh, just because he is good. He is rainbowed, which means he's probably going to be critting all the time. Uh, the thing is, he just he doesn't have the damage output, so you're going to really have to rely on your LR uh, Goku. Now, this is the friend over here that I had just found. All types, key plus 3, attack plus 3,000. This is the team that I'm running. It's the same team that I ran, I don't know, I think I made a video about six months about it or something like that. I think the only thing that might have changed is maybe the Bulma, because she wasn't here, but I did say to bring her. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about it. I did not rainbow this one. I do have him set, all set up, all dupes unlocked and everything. He does supreme damage, high high chance of attack plus 180%. This is the free to play Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, who is a pain in the butt to Dokken Awaken, but you can get you get him at the epic battle event, um, but like the, the game when you first start. You I have my LR Goku, who's 100% from the event that came out like a year ago. We have Candy Vegito, who I don't really put anything in other than uh, crits and dodges. So that way he can like, you know, crit and dodge a little bit better. Uh, that one came out a while ago as well. I was from, I think it was from uh, the Valentine's Day event, I believe. 
Then we have the uh, Gohan Possessed, just because he does tech type key plus three. He does raise defense. I mean, it does help out a little bit, but you don't really need it because of this team. You really just want the key plus three for your LR Goku. You have Bulma over here, the youth from that, from uh, from the Bulma and Vegeta event. Uh, she essentially um, has, she does super attacks at like eight, eight or more or six or uh, yeah eight or more, and she does good. She recovers 777 or 7,777 per Rainbow Key or obtained HP that is, um, and greatly reduces damage received by 50%. So she's cool. Um, overall, really good unit. And then I just threw Jackie Chun in there just because when he does get off the super attack, he seals. Uh, plus, he gives the buff of tech type attack and defense plus 25%. So that's very useful. So that's my free-to-play team that I bring up on this event all the time, and I just massacre it. Uh, items, I just have some healing items. I have a key orb manipulator for LR Goku. And if I just want to see big numbers, I use the uh, announcer just because I have like a thousand of them. And you know what? Might as well just use them, right? Anyway, that's my team. That's what I've been running the entire time. If you guys have a different team that works for you, good for you. You know, it all works out. Uh, there's probably a free-to-play agility team that's really good now to go up against this event because he is the strength unit. Um, I just haven't done it because I've just had so much luck on this team. Also because LR Goku pretty much one-shots LR Frieza. Uh, not all the time, but if he gets a crit, he's definitely one-shotting him. If not, he takes away two health bars once he gets to LR form. All the other ones, pretty much, he, he will one-shot him. Whether he gets a crit, Kamehameha or not. Um, as long as the LR Goku gets a super attack off, all the other variants of Frieza will get one-shotted. So, <clears throat> alright, there we got the golden, we always like those golden capsules, because you never know if you get Elder Kai's or Supreme Kai medals. Alright, cool. So here we go. And we're going there, okay, perfect, and we started off, uh, actually, that's not as much, that's not as great as I wanted it to be. Um, personally, I like this, this, this VC over here, we have the LR Goku friend who's going to come up next round on that one. That's going to kind of kill me a little bit, but it's alright, it's not horrible. So this is what we're going to do, we're going to do this. Master Roshi or Jackie Chun is going to go ahead and get his super attack off, and LR Goku will get his super attack off. But it doesn't matter. By the time he gets to LR Goku, LR Goku will one shot him. I just put LR Goku at the end. Yes, nice dodge, Vegito. Uh, I put LR Goku at the end so that way he is available um, the round after next. So I have one LR Goku there. The other good thing about that is um, you always want an LR Goku there too, is because he does tank. He tanks a lot better than the other ones. So or the other units that we're running on this team. There you go. So look at that, 443,000 damage. Nice, that's just this Kamehameha. So we're going to skip through that. <clears throat> we don't want to see him talk. I've done this event way too many times. The one thing, so like, I I, I do, I am happy that they, um, they took, they made all the events, the Dokkan events, down to half stamina all the time. The one thing that I kind of don't like about it is, like, I relied on those Dokkan events to quickly drain my stamina. Now, I have like 180 stamina. That's not, a lot, that's not a problem for a lot of you guys, but I don't like to have full stamina because I feel like it's not an efficient way to do things. I, I, if I'm going to have a stamina bar, I want it to be completely utilized before I leave my house for the day. Like when I wake up in the morning, I want to drain it. Uh, just so that way I, I'm doing something. Uh, if not, if I, then I have to run those freaking tiny little events that's like 8 to 12 stamina per run. And I feel like I just have to constantly play and play and play. And there's just too much time. There's not, there's not enough time for me to do that and live a life. So the fact that this is this event is available for 50 stamina every day makes it really nice. Because I can go run the event three times without any issues. Um, and once I run the event three times, the stamina is drained that down a pretty good amount. And we can go ahead and move forward from there. And, uh, you know, I won't have to worry about it for a few hours before, you know, to jump back into the game and start playing again. You know, plus it just, you know, I, I do have other games that I play, specifically Bleach Brave Souls. So, um, I, I don't know if, if any of you guys have been following me on Twitter. So, I got, so when I, the, there's this banner. It's called the Diamond, the Diamond Rebellion, I believe it was called, on the, uh, global side of, well, actually, I think it's on both versions because they, they follow each other on Bleach Brave Souls. And I had really, really crappy luck on that banner. It first came out, I couldn't pull anyone. Um, I really, really wanted to get uh, Yin and Yang, which are... They, they have a new game mechanic. So the game's very interactive, for those of you who aren't aware. Uh, and one of the mechanics that just came out it allows you to have... You, you control one character, but their strong attack allows you to switch between them. Uh, so that way they, they inflict different ailments on their enemies. So one of them inflicts paralysis, uh, like I think it was like a 5% chance. Uh, between their two strong attacks and their normals and then the other one if you switch to the other one switching mechanic does damage 
and the other attack allows you to inflict burn. So it's a really cool mechanic, that's the only one I wanted. So I did like, I think I did four or five multi summons on the double rates banner. On a double rates banner, and I didn't get a single five star, which is equivalent to SSR in Dokkan Battle. And I was really upset about that. And then um, the Yin and Yang banner came out, I did two multis on that I believe, and I didn't get a single uh, five star on that one. So I got upset, so I just stopped playing it for, well stopped summoning for a while, and I just played the game. So then the new banner came out, and it was just like a Brave Soul selection, uh, which is the equivalent in Dokkan, like, I guess when you have, like, um, don't, I don't want you to think of it like a type banner, but it's just like a regular banner that comes out and it has three specific units on it. Um, they were, I believe they were, two of them were a Ronkar. Uh, was it a Ronkar? I don't know. It was just a, a selection of good units, you know, decent units. And luckily for me, at the time, I didn't have any of, uh, of them. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and summon on this, because if I get any 5-star on this, I'll, I'll make out because they're all new. So I decided to do some summons. And I did, on that banner, I ended up doing 3 multi summon. Oh wow, look at that, 20 freaking Awakening Medals in one run. I have not had that yet, on this at all. Wow, that was awesome. Epic on camera. <laughs> uh, but what I was saying was, I got 2 in a row. 2 5-stars on one multi summon. 3 multi summons in a row that happened. Now, I don't know, like, I know that some of you don't play Bleach Brave Souls, or some of you who do, you know how epic that is. I, on a regular rates banner, I got two five stars in a row, three multis in a row. That was insane. So, I was super excited. I got all three units. I didn't have any of them, and I wanted, I need, well, I didn't really need, but I really, really wanted all three of those units. Uh, one of them has a damage reduction ability, which is really good for PvP. Um, so I got three of him, which is awesome. One of them's gonna get the level 200. The others are just gonna are just gonna get the uh, 20 damage reduction, so I can throw it on my PVP units um, and go from there. But I was super happy that actually set my PVP team to be really awesome. Anyway, I just went on and I did a well. After that, I did a four star, four or five star summon ticket. I got a five star. It was a dupe, but it was okay because it was a dupe that benefited me. And then. Yesterday, I did a multi-summon on the Diamond Rebellion banner for the regular rates with droplets. Uh, and it's like uh, doing, I guess you could consider it like potential orbs uh, for Dokkan Battle with the droplets equivalent to. And I did that multi-summon. And when I did that multi-summon, I ended up getting two more five stars. And it was ridiculous. So I've done four multi-summons in a row and getting double, and got double five stars on each of them. And a single off of uh, a four five star ticket. So I was super happy. Unfortunately, the, the Diamond Rebellion, the two that I got, they were two separate five stars, but they were the only two I had dupes of. The other four that I did not have at all, that I don't have at all, that was in the banner, I didn't get. I was a little bit up, like, it was a little bit of a letdown, but just the, the, the sheer fact that I had four multis over the course of, like, three days that all resulted in double five stars is insane. Um, Alright, let's go in here. I'm going to go and do a little bit of a team building guide right now. So, uh, you guys have been requesting me to do a uh, Super Battle Road event. And I haven't done it. I, I've been wanting to do it here with the tech team, but my Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, I haven't grinded out the medals in order to finish getting him up to Super Attack 10. Um, I think he's at Super Attack 5 or 6 right now. Something like that. Yeah, he's at 5. So I just need to grind out like a whole bunch of medals from his actual event. And once I grind out those medals for his event, then I'll go ahead and get him to Super Attack 10. Then I'll Doken Awaken him. And then once he's Doken Awaken, we'll try out the tech team. This Trunks is actually going to come in really handy on that tech team. Because he reduces damage received by 40% when guard is active, and he's going to have his guard active. Uh, guard Type doesn't matter. Typing should, doesn't matter, but I believe his guard will still be active. So that should benefit us in the event. I don't know yet. I haven't tested it out. So this is the um, Universe 6 for the actual event that's out right now. Um, I actually tried to take on Super Battle Road with this team. Everyone says that you need to have Omega Shenron. Unfortunately, if you guys have been following me for the past year, um, you will know. Wow, it's been a year since, almost a year since I started doing YouTube videos. Um, I don't have that damn Omega Shenron, and I fought really hard. Um, I did see that you, it is definitely possible with an Intelligence Kid Buu team. Now, uh, mine is Reverse Dokkan right now because I got a whole bunch of him. As you can see over here, I got 15 crit, 11 dodge, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, let me go take a look at him real quick. I, I wonder if he, if I should reverse him now and bring him on because I do have an optimal team for Mono Extreme Intelligence. Uh, I just don't know if it's going to be worth it. Okay, he's 90%. He's 90% of the dupe system. While I would really like to have the bottom left, 
I, I think this is more than enough for me to go and take on that event. Let me go ahead and reverse Doken him, and we'll, we'll, when we do that, we will go and uh, take on the Mono Intelligence event, and we will see. Maybe I can get lucky. Uh, you know what the problem is? I'm probably not going to be able to find uh, a Kid Boo friend uh, for the video. So, if we can't find a friend, we'll go ahead and we'll do something a little bit more, uh, I guess, something that we can find <laughs> to do some team building with, or to, do, to try to take on the event with. I'm sure I can find someone for uh, one of my teams. Anyway, uh, we're going to go remove all. We have Kid Boo. We have Mike Geneva, which is 100%. Uh, we have Buhan, which is 100%. We want Vegeta, who is amazing support. I think he's at Super Attack 10 also. No, he's at Super Attack 5. Uh, I, damn, I've been babaing all the, uh, the base forms of him. I do have Turles, and he's at Super Attack 10. So we're going to go utilize him. And then I have room for one more. We want really want it to be key here. We would prefer it to be key here. Um, we do have uh, Super Baby 2. He's really good. Attack was 100%. I just have no dupe system fed into him. Uh, I don't really know who else I would want to bring. I guess, uh, is he Doken Awakened? No, he's Super Attack 7. I haven't Doken Awakened him yet. Maybe at some point he'll be useful for me. Mm, uh, this Boo, I think he does, what, recovers uh, health. This might be, he only does extreme damage. But he does recover health and at a 120 lead, plus he has a regeneration that works with the, with the booze. So that might come in handy. Oh, you know what it is? I, uh, I actually, yeah, I Doke Awakened um, this Korra, so he will be good as a support unit. So that's the one thing that sucks about an intelligence team, uh, an, an extreme intelligence team. You don't have key support for the extreme guys. So that's definitely a pain in the butt. Um, I don't want to have to take a, for like, the, uh, the course given um <laughs> one let's see over here oh where are you I, I thought that the event was available today huh i have boss rush i have speed battle wasn't it just available the other day hmm well all right so we can't do that so what we're gonna do is we have patara we don't have super saiyan 3 wow i can't actually do this with you that stinks um who else do we want to take on? I don't need to take on any of these other guys. It's Friday. Uh, maybe that's why it's Friday. Um, all right, let's figure out another event we can go and take on together then. Let's see. Fight 10 billion warriors now. We're done with all that. We'll go ahead and we'll take on the the Go Tanks event because the Go Tanks event is actually pretty cool. Um, here you are, Go Tanks and Super Go Tanks. Uh, do I need any more of him? I think I don't. Let's go take a look at my, my box real quick. We have who? Um, we want to check out... It was Strength. Yeah, it was a Strength Go Tanks. And available. And let's see who... How do we need to Doken Awaken him? What medals do we need? Ah, okay. So it looks like we actually have those medals. Paragon, I hope... I think this is... The new one. So... Damn, I, I think I have everything I need to in game. <laughs> well, that's, that, that became a crappy thing. We'll just go ahead and take on take on an event anyway. Uh, we're gonna go take on the level two of this with a, with a kid boot team, regardless, just because it's gonna be a lot of fun to do that. Um, I don't really use the team that often, and I know a lot of people don't use it in videos. Uh, and I personally love my kid boot team. I just been waiting to get that last dupe. That's why I haven't reverse dokened him yet. Uh, now it's just a, a matter of finding a friend. Oh look at that! Someone got the LR Go Ten and Trunks. That's awesome. Yeah, now it's just a matter of me trying to find a friend. I mean, I guess I could bring a Gogeta. He's not going to give the buff that I like, but he's just badass, and he would be really useful uh, on that event. Hmm. See, I know they want we they, we really all talk about them fixing the friend system, and it's really not a joke. They need to fix this friend system because of the searching. The searching's horrible. You know what I could do instead? Because I don't see it often. I have a Merge Zamasu friend over here. So we're going to go, and he's 100% for that, that guy. So we're going to switch this up, and we're going to do a mono extreme team. And we're going to bring one of every type of unit. And I do have a, my Merge Zamasu 100% in as well. So that's going to be awesome. Um, I'm going to try and stick with only the new units, by the way. So we have we have Kid Boo, We have Broly. Um, we have Janemba, because Janemba's a 120 lead. I want to bring a full 120 team. I haven't done it. We have Korra. Oh, you know what it is? I don't have Super 17, so I can't bring him. I don't want to bring... I, I kind of do, and I kind of don't. Actually, you know what? I kind of feel like I have to at this point. Um, for my Broly, I was gonna... I wanted to bring my, uh, Super Saiyan Rose, because they'll link really well together. Hmm. 
Who else? I guess Mass. You know what it is? I don't. I don't ever use Mass Saiyan Bardock. That's one thing. I guess I could. I could bring him. Let's see. I have intelligence, strength, physical, tech. Nah, I need an agility unit. I do need an agility. I want to make sure I have a full team. Uh, so yeah, I guess the only OP unit that I do have that's 100% it is going to be Rosé. So we'll bring him. I mean, I don't, I'm not upset about bringing him. It's just that I wanted to bring like newer units, and he's like he's been used. I've used him a lot. Uh, let's see over here. So we have two healing items. We don't want to bring key or manipulator. So what can we bring? We're gonna go ahead and bring fruit of the tree of might. I have 500 of them. I've been buying them every time I see them in the Baba shop. I buy them. And what else? I guess we could. I don't want to bring an Icarus because those are really useful. But I have 300 of them. Yeah, we're gonna bring an Icarus just to play it safe. I don't think we'll have any problems because it's a super go tanks event. The issue is that see, I'm bringing the like second or third meta round unit for my leaders. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, cool. So here we go. We're gonna go take on this event, and we should be able to kick some butt. Plus, these guys, most of these guys have some really good links with each other, so I shouldn't have to worry about key. Though we are gonna go down the key route. You know what I should? You know what I'm also gonna do? Um, I'm gonna probably play one quick round with Kariza and uh, LR Frieza as well. That way we could uh, take them out for a test drive. Maybe I should have done that with them on this team. <laughs> but I want to bring them out on a Janemba team. And the, the other thing is trying to find a Janemba leader or a Janemba friend. That's going to be a pain in the butt. I'm sure I could find an LR Broly, though. A lot of, a lot of people still run LR Broly as a lead. There's my, my Janemba. Oh, look at that. Cool. We got one more for another one. Oh, okay, I went to Janemba, but whatever. <coughs> Janemba will be getting off supers all the time now. Alright, cool. I'm going to go take a sip of my, uh, my Red Bull over here. So, I got, I recently, oh, perfect, actually, the Super Saiyans just lined up awesome with each other. Um, so I recently started watching this, uh, YouTuber, or YouTubers, they're part of the community for Super Mario, or Super Mario Maker, his name's Ryu Car, and he's been, it looks like he's been doing this for a while, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with him, Ryu Car, and Carl, and Grand Pooh Bear, now I haven't watched any Grand Pooh Bear's videos, but um, I've been watching all of uh, Ryukin's, uh, Ryukin, <laughs> Ryu's, Ryu's videos and um, Ryu Car and uh, uh, Carl's videos. So they're both really awesome YouTubers, and I, I, they've actually been kind of, sort of starting to get me into wanting to get Super Mario Maker. Unfortunately, I don't have the system for it, but if I ever did it, I would probably make a YouTube channel based off of it because it, it looks like a really fun game. All the custom levels. And I was a big Nintendo fan when I was a kid. Super Mario was my favorite. Um, I, that, that stopped by the PlayStation 2. Um, I think by the last system I had was GameCube. And then I never got this, the Wii or the Wii U or anything like that. So, alright, let's see. What can we do here? Which one of these guys? Oh, so we want these two to be together because they have the... Uh... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're going to do this because if we get supered... It's going to seal Korra's super attack, which I'm okay with because Janemba has type advantage here. What else can we do? All right, that looks that looks, that looks good because Merge the Mossy wasn't going to get a super attack off. Ah, perfect. All right, cool. So we get double super attack. Let's see. 550, uh, 35,000. Still, that, that's not that bad with us. A two, double 70% lead. Will he get a second super? No. Will he get a third? Nope. Okay. Here's Janemba. 651,000. Not bad at all. This is definitely a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, like what I was saying is that that, that Nintendo Switch with uh, a lot of those games look like so much fun. Personally, the, the new Super Mario Odyssey looks like a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. I was actually watching um, Game Theory video, and it was it was actually pretty scary. Uh, so what, what the theory was, was that Mario's world was in the midst of... Um, I forgot what, what exactly it was. Essentially, um, the moon was so close to the Earth. That's why all the moons were on the ground. And he did all the math on it and crap. And I just was just like, oh, okay, cool. I'll believe you because I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing the math. <clears throat> and the math ended up saying that uh, the, his world had gotten to the point where the moon was so close to the Earth that the, that the moon was starting to get destroyed because of the gravity. And that's why all the moon pieces were on the ground. And at some point, the entire moon was going to form a ring around the Earth. And that's going to throw off the gravity of the Earth, and the Earth can get destroyed. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, that that's pretty epic. Oh my god, I hope I don't die. <laughs> I did not check my health before I started that turn. 
I've been talking too much, that's why. Alright, let's see. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, okay, cool, we're good. Yeah, we're definitely good. We're gonna definitely go up and heal up next round, but... That's it. I knew this was gonna be a little bit longer, too, for this, this fight, specifically just because it's the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And he is, uh, he's definitely, uh, has a damage reduction going for him. So I also just realized I did not need to bring the key. I, I probably actually do. Um, hmm. You know what, let's just do it because it's here, might as well use it. I have, I have enough of them to go around. Let's go and get these guys super attacks going off. And here we go, and then we'll do that. And then that way next round we have the blues for Rosé, which I don't even think he needs, but might as well. I should have probably brought LR Broly here with me, because LR Broly would have been able to destroy him with a double super attack. Wow, dude, that he only did 200,000 damage with a crit. That's insane. I mean, again, it's not a, a double 120 lead, it's only a double 70 lead, so what do you expect? Can we get a, a super? Uh, wow, yo, there was a glitch right there, I looked like a box. Coral looked like he came in as a box, unless my eyes are training, playing tricks on me. Alright, so we have two and a half health bars left. But um, I've also been playing this game on my phone called Super Mario Run. I don't play it often. Um, I did do it on a live stream a little bit with you guys shoot, a couple of months ago. And I know I promised doing a live stream. This is as best as I could do right now. To sit down and do 30 minutes of gameplay. Um, because I've been trying I've been trying to do a lot of things in my life. And it, it's, it's not difficult. It's just it's time consuming. And that's why I have not been doing a video every single day. Uh, like I normally do. And I know a lot of you guys have been super supportive. And I thank you all for that. But... I've, um, I try to sit down every day before I go to work and do a quick recording of a video. Um, I, I don't, honestly, I, I think I stopped editing my videos after, like, my first month and a half of doing videos. And I realized, you know, if I talk over myself, well, I'm human. And I'm bringing you guys news, and this is just a chill environment. I'm not trying to be super professional or, like, get sponsorships or anything like that. So, if I have any tongue twisters, I know, and I know so a lot of you guys realize that and know that. It doesn't really bother me too much. So, I'm okay with it. Oh, look at that. We, we destroyed that event without any problems. We used... What we used, um, uh, fruit of the tree of might and the um, the one heal. <laughs> Although, I don't even think we needed the heal. All right, cool. So, we got some more of those metals. Though, I don't even know if I needed them or not. Let's go ahead and set up um, a mono strength team. Hopefully, we could find a good friend to take with us. Um, all right, so we have Janemba, we have LR Frieza. Uh, we need... Wait, where's my Kuriza? Here's Kuriza. I don't have him at Super Attack 10, though. Kuriza, I don't have Super Attack 10. Um, Boo is a key or manipulator. So we want to bring him. Omega is 100% it. And do I have anyone else? I don't like Cell. I think Cell sucks, personally. Um, I know a lot of you guys do like Cell. You know what? 17 is a key or manipulator, which is good. A lot of you guys like Cell. I'm just... I'm not a big fan of Cell. I really... I'm not. I don't think he's a good character. He doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, he, he's just meh, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's, that's all it is to me, he's just meh. But, whatever, I mean, I, I, don't mean, I don't mean to crap on anyone who thinks he's a really good unit. I just don't, I don't find him very viable or very useful. Um, so we have, uh, I don't want to go up against Korra. Let's do, who do I actually need? You know, we can go up against Shadow Dragons, but I think you need to have, um, GT in order to real, deal great damage. And he, that event's pretty difficult. Uh, let's go up here. I think we could do level... Is it level? No, it's only the regular fusion event. I don't need any more of those metals. Um, I guess we're gonna go up against... Yeah, I guess we'll do a 120 battle against, uh, Korra. Now, what does this stage... Is there anything special on the stage? The following characters... Won't be able to nullify Korra's damage reduction skill and... Oh. Oh, won't be able. That's weird. I don't know why it says won't be able. Oh, Super Saiyan Goku will nullify Korra's. Um, okay, that's not a big deal. We'll be able to take on this event without an issue. Now I just need to find a friend that I could bring with me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a Janemba friend, though. So I might have to bring a non-powerful unit <laughs> to make up for, like, uh, an extreme support unit or something like that. So let's see what we have over here. Now, Janemba's team is... It gets outdated really quick. He's cool because of his dodging mechanic and his damage reduction mechanic. He's strength, so he has those built-in crits, which is awesome as well. Um, there is an LR Hercule, which I'm definitely going to need for, because I haven't done the event yet to get more uh, money Zenny. I need some Zenny. Super types, strength. Oh, look, there's an LR Broly. If there's no one here on the page, I'm just going to take him. 
yeah. All right, we're going to go take an LR Broly. This isn't the most optimal setup for this event, because I would prefer to take a double Janemba. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't take Sensor Beans or Icarus because he didn't have them in the in the movie. <laughs> um, all right, cool. So we have Puar for key orb manipulation. We have a Dende for healing. We have damage output. We're going to bring... Actually, you know what? We're going to bring Balmas because my Balmas are always at 1,000. And I think we're going to... We can't bring an Icarus, so... Uh, Marin is actually pretty good. Where are you, Marin? Yeah, she does three. Yeah, 25% for three turns, so that's not horrible. And I actually have been using her on Super Battle Road, because it definitely makes it a little bit more viable. All right, this is my team. Let's go ahead and try it out. And we have the key orb manipulators for off rotation, and we should be good. Hopefully they don't put two uh, of the key orb manipulators on the same turn. And they did not. We are good, guys. We're all set. Unfortunately... My setup with Frieza and Kariza is definitely going to take a couple turns before I get it. Uh, luckily, this is a long event, so I should be able to, to set it up without any issues. Um, I don't see anything with where the key orbs are, where the key is, so... Um, we'll hope for the best. Alright, cool, got to LR Frieza. He is... Well, one thing that sucks, he, is, he has no dupe system in him, but... Whatever, we should be fine. Why did you have to go to a friggin' 17? Oh, man, you guys are just killing me here. Damn it, Bandai. KLAB so much nicer to their people. <laughs> anyway. Here we go. And, oh, we do actually have two key orb manipulators. But, you know what? It's not horrible. Because it's Broly. Um, and Broly should be able to one shot. So, even if he doesn't, if he gets off his Ultra, which he did, we're going to set him up to go over Salza. Because he's agility, so that way he does more damage to him. Because we don't know if he'll be able to one shot him or not. Um, there's one there, and then we'll do that so that way he can get off his super attack. Yeah, I still I, I still watch these YouTubers, some of these YouTubers who've been playing for a long time. I'm not talking about everyone. Uh, there's just one or two that you watch their gameplay and you look at the key orbs that they select, and it's just like, bro, do you do you even play the game? Do you understand how the key orbs drop? You know, it's just like you know you have like 100% units all over the place, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> Like, I don't know, that's just my, that's, that's my own frustrations there, is when I see something that's not optimized or efficient. If something isn't efficient, it, it's a little bit frustrating, if I can see it. If I don't see it, I'm not saying I'm genius, but... <laughs> let's see, let's pay attention to the key orb beneath later, the key, the key orb, uh, how they drop. You've been playing for years, just do it. Um, LR Freeze is going to come around next round, so we want Kariza to be at the end over here. Uh, let's see, he doesn't have any more or any less key. So Janemba is going to be a damage reduction, so we're going to keep Janemba there, and then we're good. And you know what, honestly, I haven't seen Kariza's super in such a long time. I think it's just like a, a death ball or something like that, but it would be really cool just to see it. And that's one reason why I wanted Janemba there, so that way he can dodge. Hell yeah. You know, I always like Janemba's animations, both of them, the intelligence one and the uh, strength one. They're both really cool. I wish they did a little bit more, like, I don't know, skulls or something like that in there, but I know it's not part of the, uh, the actual movie. It is cool, you know? I guess some people would be upset if they're not following the full canon. Well, the canon of the non-canon movie, that is. There we go. Yep, Supernova. It's like a death ball thing, which is awesome. Alright, cool. So they did almost no damage. By the time we get to um, Korra, like Final Form Korra, we should be good. Oh no, ah, damn. That's not what we want to do. Okay, cool. Uh, I got lucky. I almost like just went and threw him there and started doing stuff. And it's, that's not what I wanted. Um, Frieza, you know, I want to see both. So this is going to be him in his normal. So like, I guess this is going to be his what 17 key super. So at 17 key, the most damage he could do without having any dupe system into him. That's what he's going on right now. And then when Kariza's with him, he should be able to get off his uh, actual 824 key super. <coughs> 361,000, not bad. Now, mind you, it is, uh, what is that, 210% uh, stat buff to his attack, so that's what that was. And no dupe system at Super Attack 10. Now, we don't have him at Super Attack 20, so that's uh, I think that's a huge debuff to him um, for the amount of damage he can do. I think he normally can do like over a million damage on a double 120 lead team. Uh, no dupe system at Super Attack 20. But uh, don't hold me to that, I don't know, I don't have it. There we go, now Broly comes over and just gives him another Super Attack, which is awesome. And now we should be able, now it will be good to have uh, Korra and LR Frieza head off. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh shoot, this is the agility. Oh man, I actually, I, I might have made a mistake. Mistakes might have been made, guys. 
I, I completely forgot he had an agility portion to this, so which does make sense given the fact that it is a 120 stage and they don't want you to have full type advantage the entire way. But luckily my Janemba can dodge and tank everything and my Omega can dodge, well not dodge, but he can tank everything. Omega is awesome for that reason. Sweet. I wish he got a crit though. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for dodging. Mm. Yeah, I'm about to finish up that. Oh, nice crit. Thank you, Omega. Oh, and an additional. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm going to finish this up, and I'm actually going to um, head over to Planet Fitness and hang out there for like an hour, hour and a half, and just like walk and play some um, Bleach Brave Souls, because you could, I could just let that play while I'm walking. And while I'm doing any exercise, like, each stage is like five minutes. So it's like, all right, let me do a set if I'm doing any type of lifting or cable machines. And then I'll, I'll pause, I'll break, I'll catch a breather, I'll set up the next level, I'll hit play. And then I'll do the next set, and I'll do that like five or six times. It's actually pretty useful, you know, for us nerdy gamers. <laughs> Plus, no one really bothers me there. <laughs> so, all right, cool. So we have two, four, six, wait, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, perfect. We have just enough. For us to get a full one off, a full ultra attack off. They link so well together, don't they? You know what? We're going to throw up a Balma on here for an additional 20% damage output. Just to see. So that way you all know with a 20% damage uh, buff on Super Attack 10 LR Frieza with Kariza next to him. Let's take a look at how much damage he does. And thank you to my 17 for the keyword manipulation that got me here. <laughs> so here we go. What do we got? We got 871,000. Perfect. Look at that. I feel like he would be doing, he would be close to a million if he got, uh, if he had Super Attack 20. I mean, he was, he is agility, so you can't really do anything about that. He is tanking pretty freaking well, though. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and we have Kariza. I'm, I've been debating. Um, what do you guys think? Like, I, I kind of want to get Kariza up to Super Attack 10, but I've been just waiting for, like, Grand Elder Kai's. But at the same time, I don't want to do it at all because I'm never going that ham on a freaking gacha game again like I did with the LR Gohan. I don't want to use up all my Elder Kai's because I know if I pull another LR, that's going to be 10 down the drain for that. Very, very difficult decisions to be made here. Um, Alright, so we have Janemba. We have Omega. And I kind of want... Yeah, we're going to let our LR Broly go. We want him to get a double super attack off. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to uh, get... Uh, well, he might, we might not even need him. We might not even need him. I wanted him to get his ultra super attack off because he'll do more damage, but I don't think we're going to need it. Especially if Omega could crit, because my Omega is 100% and he has, like, 20 crit. Yeah, there we go. Perfect, baby. All right, so last one of the event. By the way, I think we're uh, we're done with gameplay after this one. I don't want the video to be too long. I want it to be, like, just long enough so that way you guys can chill, watch the video at your own time, at your own leisure, and, um, you know, leave when you want to, so that way you can play along with me if you want to do that. And uh, I don't have time for a live stream, so it definitely makes it easier. All right, cool. The other thing is about live streaming, as much as I like it, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, do a live stream and not have you guys available with me because I, I can't set a schedule to it. So I want to do a video so that way you all can come back and watch as you want and then you can communicate with me in the comments, talk to each other in the comments and stuff like that. Wow, that was awesome. Look at that. I love this so much. Hell yeah. LR Freeze is pretty epic. That's right, you take on your brother and you, you knock him out. It's actually funny watching Kariza. Going up, so I, you know, I didn't even plan it that way. I didn't even think of it until like after I started um, playing the level. I'm using my LR Frieza with his the best linking buddy, the fusion of Frieza and Korra, to go up against Korra. That's actually pretty ironic and funny. <laughs> All right, cool. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna swap it out like this. You know why? because there's going to be multiple attacks against Janemba, and Janemba will have damage reduction on top of Omega's damage reduction skill, on top, on top of us having uh, the ability to dodge. And now my LR Frieza, ah, oh, damn it, <laughs> my LR Frieza should be good to get a nice super attack off, ultra super attack off next round as well. Now watch it, yeah, there we go. That's my Omega, baby. You got this. Ooh, and the crit. Omega with the crit. Now watch, I, I, wanted, I wanted it to end with LR Frieza getting the kill, 
It's not a huge deal if he doesn't, but I was going to say, I was just about to say, watch Janemba get the freaking crit. Oh, well. Not horrible. <laughs> but we got the seven medals that are, that are required, and that was um, that was the gameplay video for that. Uh, not horrible. I actually do need some Koras because I've been, like, tr I've been, I have a couple of the Intelligence SR Koras. I have not wanted to grind out any any of the uh the metals to get him awakened so that way i, I want to feed in the technique one. i want to doken awaken the technique aura that i have i just pulled him a little like a couple months ago if you guys uh were aware whenever i did that video uh, i ended up getting him and i was happy that i got him i just don't want to feed in any other guys into him or anything like that let's let me go show you really quick and it is the tech aura and he does have a doken awakening and here he is Supreme damage attack plus 40%. Now, I want to bring it up on my computer real quick. I'll, I'll, I'll try to bring it up on screen for you. And there we go. So we have dbz.space. Shout out to dbz.space. What up, Renzi? <laughs> um, cards. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to switch this. You know, let's go over and switch it now. Uh, Chrome record. There we go. And we're going to check it out real quick. And then it's what? As ultra rare. Technique. Extreme and Cora's Doken Awakening, and this is his Doken Awakening. This is the one that I, that I was just showing you. Supreme so still, I wish they gave him. Well, I mean, I guess there's, they they need to make a new modifier, uh, either like either between Supreme and Immense or something that trumps Immense because Immense is just so common now. I remember like back in the day, I was watching a Rhyme Style video and he's like, at some point we're gonna have an entire team full of Supreme damage dealing units. And then Immense came out, and that was a, the rage. And I guess we do have Colossal, but I feel like Colossal is just too much for a standard card. I feel like there needs to be a modifier between Colossal and Immense. I don't know. Or maybe they just need to make Colossal better to increase it, or I don't know. Or upgrade the LRs to something different. <laughs> anyway, Supreme Damage, Rare Chance to Stun. The leader ability is kind of meh. It's just his, his passive is really nice for uh, a mono... <laughs> Extreme Technique Team Attack plus 90% of the start of the turn, which is not bad at all. He does really well with Frieza. Um, let's go over Dokkan Battle Builder real quick. Dokkan Battle. That's a Dokkan Battle Builder.com. And because this is what I was talking about. Well, this is what I want to have set up for my team anyway. So we have what? We have that, that Korra. And I wanted him to be set up with my Angel Frieza. Now, there is the other Frieza. They have. This is the Angel Frieza I was talking about. Unfortunately, I only have two key links. But we have the OG Frieza, too. And I do have him. I will not Doken Awaken him. So this is really cool, because if you look at this setup, this is a nice setup for him. We also have, I think King Cold is intelligence as well. I mean, listen, honestly, we could set up a full Frieza team if we really want to. Um, actually, we're going to take him off, because we're going to have his TUR variant. Where is King Cold? Is King Cold here? Janembu is not part of that. We don't want we don't want any of them. We had who? I think King Cold. King Cold should have been here. I could have sworn that King Cold. Maybe King Cold was a different one. Maybe he was like physical or something like that. Huh. I don't know. Oh well. Um yeah. So what we had, this is essentially all Frieza clan stuff. And this is who I really want to run on a team. And I was just checking around real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and add the Ultra Rares in. Because uh, I want to throw the Golden Freeze up in here, because Golden Freeze is pretty epic as well. Uh, so this is what I was going was, I was going to suggest running. And then you have your 120 lead, uh, your Broly, because, I mean, why not? You would want him here. But the, you could do a full Frieza team. You have fir First Form Frieza, uh, uh, Final Form Frieza, uh, or this is Final Form Frieza. This is Final Form Angel Frieza, this is Golden Frieza, and this is Korra. So that's pretty freaking epic. That's pretty damn awesome. Oh, you know what it is? Maybe he was SR? Yeah, he was SR. All right, well, you can still throw him in there. He does share some link skills if you want to. But uh, yeah, so this is what I was thinking, but this is what I really want to try out is just like having these guys plus these two links so well together. Unfortunately, they screwed up with this Frieza over here. The uh, the old school OG Frieza. That when, when Resurrection F came out, right? They went and they decided to, we're going to go over to the wiki really quick. Um, they decided to go and give all the freezes Doken Awakening. So for those of you who weren't there for it, it was awesome. But at the same time, it was a big, big disappointment in terms of my opinion on it. 
So we have Final Form Frieza. This is the one, right? And these two actually link very, very well together. And I know that this, this wasn't supposed to be a team building uh, episode. Back in the day, Tackle's 30% was freaking awesome. He was such a hard hitter. He was like getting to 100,000 damage uh, when you super attack. If you can get him up to like super attack 5, 6, 7, 8, like that. Um, he was really awesome because of that. With supreme damage, he was so epic. Problem is, freaking Bandai decided to go and just do a full freaking damn event. The Doken Wake and all the damn freezes. So he Doken Wakens into this Golden Frieza, which is attack plus 40% of the start of the turn, which is alright. You only got an additional attack plus 10%. But there's so many freaking Golden Freezes in game right now. And like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, Golden Freezes. We're gonna we're gonna go back real quick over here. This is just Golden Freeze. Look at these damn Golden Freezes, right? Like, why do you need all these damn Golden Freezes? And each of these is a different Golden Frieza. Like, these two have the same artwork. They both Doken Waken from two different Freezes. All of these, Doken Waken from two different Freezes. Pinnacle. Pinnacle, strength two, strength three. Like, there, there's no reason for it, man. And I was very upset, and that's when they just... That's pretty much how Bandai destroyed the Golden Frieza thing, and they killed the, one of my favorite cards. But, um, yeah, these two do link very, very well together, and I've been wanting to run them on a team. I'm just waiting to get um, this Frieza up to Super Attack 10 at some point, and this Frieza up to Super Attack 10 when he's farmable. Uh, five link skills, and they're pretty epic. Prodigy is Universe's most malevolent. Uh, Nightmare for, what is that, 20, 35% attack buff. Uh, and then Shocking Speed and Strongest Clan in Space for four keys. So they're really good at linking together. But uh, yeah, that's that. But anyway, guys, uh, that's it. That's all I really want to talk about in terms of the team building guide. So I'm pretty happy with that. This is the video. If you see over here too, the template I have set up, I have my Super Vegito on the left and Super Battle Road on the right. I plan on doing that event. And I told you guys that earlier. I just want to let you know. Um, anyway, that's it. I just, I'm going to call it wrap up here. We've been recording for about 40 minutes now, something like that, 45 minutes. And I feel like this is more than enough time for anyone to train out their stamina and to hang out. So come by, watch the video when you have your own time. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, leave a comment down below about anything that you're doing right now, and we'll have a conversation. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you all later, and you have a great day. Peace.